This was not a dog, man. Huh? Is this right? For me to come to my mind. Former journalist Virginia Kepler found herself in the middle of a media storm in 2019 when she was appointed family spokesperson after video recording went viral of her 76-year-old aunt, Marta Marais, tied to a hospital bench at the Mamelodi Hospital in Pretoria. It was actually one of the first cases that the uh, Gauteng Health Department tried to resolve around table in the medi mediation process. And after that, there were so many people that came forward and said, but this happened to my mother, this happened to my father. And that's when we realized, like, this is not an isolated case. This is actually what has been happening in that hospital. This experience led Virginia to open a non-profit organization called Ria Tusa, We Help. She now dedicates her time assisting people to fight for healthcare justice. In a most recent case, 59-year-old Johannes January was taken to the casualty ward at Mamelodi Hospital and his family was informed a day later that he died from natural causes without being admitted to a hospital ward. When his family returned to the hospital to collect Johannes' clothes and other personal belongings he had with him, nurses sent them to a cleaning room to go look for it themselves. There were mops and brooms and buckets and there were dirty linen, some full of blood. And they took pictures and said, but we cannot go through these things. The shocked family members took pictures inside the cleaning room and nurses instructed security guards to lock them up. Meanwhile, another sick patient who arrived for treatment was not allowed through the locked gate. She took a picture of this patient on the outside saying, so you'll rather detain us unlawfully in here instead of opening the gate and give that person the necessary medical care. That is how far we are removed from our humanity and our empathy and sympathy for the next person. Virginia says there's a growing sentiment that nursing is not a calling anymore and has become just another job amid high unemployment numbers. She believes medical staff should be held personally accountable in cases of medical malpractice. There's no accountability. If you are the person that, is, that wronged a patient or a patient's family, that you should be solely accountable for what you did. According to Virginia, despite the latest headlines around public hospitals, health authorities are still not addressing the root causes of our public health care crisis. Politicians are doing grandstanding, and they're visiting clinics and hospitals left, right and centre, but they don't get to the bottom of the problem. Virginia believes amid increasing complaints from patients and growing problems in the public health care system that the role of health care activists is set to grow. I want to build a network of people across the country where I don't have to run to Johannesburg or to Cape Town. Where I can say, I have a network of people there. Listen, this is the case. Please go and attend. And maybe if we have that, the hospitals will get more into shape.